Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny Channel. Today I am going to teach about the Flutter. I already did many videos of Android Studio, how to create the apps using Android Studio. There are many students who ask me to uh, do the Flutter development. So that today I am starting the Flutter development, the very basics level. Uh, first you have to install the Flutter. First you have to configure the Android Studio. After that you have to uh, configure the Flutter SDK. After that, after all the stuff are done, you can create the Flutter development, Flutter project. You have to create the Flutter uh, folder okay. here. I have created the Flutter folder and open it. Here I have to type CMD. Here I am going to create my first app in Flutter. So how to create the Flutter, uh, first app? You have to type the command Flutter space create your app name. I am going to name my app is first app this is the name press enter key here now your app is, uh, app is created okay you have to wait until the app is created your app is created done okay here it's all the software done okay if you get any error here your it is not here there is a problem okay it is here you have you can after done the command you can get the message of all the done okay so it will be telling now you are in which which, uh, which directory flutter project you are telling you have to type cd your project name is first app you have to go first first app first app keep all the uh, letters should be simple okay press enter key okay now you now you are in this inside this folder now i am going to open this folder in vs code editor so you have to type cm code space dot present key now you, all your project will be configured into your vs code editor it's a basic stuff you have to create a flutter project well, this is the command you have to use to create the flutter project so if you have the emulator first we have to run click on this one this is the emulator I, am, I have created in my android studio click on this one you have to wait until the uh, emulator loader okay so it, you have to wait some time to load this one so here we have here we, where we will be uh, testing our app okay so the emulator is must when we are uh, testing your app okay here my app in emulator is run here so here the last project i have created so that the same project here it will be open it okay so here first we have to run this app and see the output new terminal so to open the new terminal so how to run this app so you have now inside your first app, app folder okay here i'm going to run the app in order to run the app you have to type the command flutter run you just type flutter run press enter key okay it's defaultly uh, what is uh, what is the output you are getting here it will be show here okay so you have to wait first you have to configure the device and all flutter will be configured the first time it will be configured okay the first time only you have to type this one flutter run after that you have to uh, if, if you make the app you have to uh, control control key and r hot reload after done the every changes you have to type uh, hot reload okay the first time only when you are uh, run the app you have to write flutter run. okay the first time only after that you have to simply you have to shortcut way uh, testing the app is control plus r okay it's very simple way so you have to wait some time it will be configured and run here if you run the flutter run uh, command you can get the default output this is the uh, this is the uh, output you can get it the default output okay so here it will be mentioned after this command runs successfully here flutter key commands okay hot reload okay here you have to uh, shift r if you type this one it will be auto reload okay so each time you can test control r okay so you can uh, sorry control r it will be auto reload okay so here this is the folder structure of flutter here you have, there will be the folder structure the same thing like uh, android studio you can see here the android studio i have already taught, uh, taught this one google app okay, all the stuff are there this is ios you can make the app both platforms android as well as ios platform okay so here yeah, the lib folder if you open the lib folder there will be the main dot dot all, all the man uh, we already taught in android studio main activity the same thing in, in flutter this is a main dot this is a main dot okay 
if you are click and open it the main dart the for fly okay now here let's this is the main dart uh, this is the output you can get in this all the output you are getting in the screen here this is the output okay now what i'm going to say i'm going to remove this one this class i'm going to remove it so the class i'm going to remove it we'll teach later what is the stateless widget stateful widget later on this is compile command so now what i'm going to do is yeah i'm going to rest of the things all the stuff i have to remove it here this all the stuff i'm going to remove it i'm going to explain it okay don't worry about that all the stuff i'm going to remove and explain it then only you will be able to understand flutter development right will be removed all stuff okay now what i'm going to do is default one this is the, this is the default app look like this okay okay this is the main method this app will be running inside the main method this is the material dart this is the material this is the design will be coming from the material library okay this is this one should be a stateless widget okay we will be uh, uh, later on we will be learn in our upcoming tutorial what is a stateless widget and stateful widget later on if i start the first day you will be confusing okay right this is the main method okay this inside this main method all the every programming runs okay this program this my app you have this function your this class you are calling to the here the main method. then only it will be uh, showing the output okay right now i am going to re off now here now what i am going to do here is return material app here you have to type here uh, title first you have to type the title of the app here i am going to name it as my app i am going to make the title as my app so come on after that i am going to type the subfolding so you have to write home here control space you have to get all the properties here subfold you have to type like this subfolding open and curly, close curly brackets okay so you have to type the app bar app bar app bar means it's showing how the app bar look like here okay very simple app bar app bar also we have a title title you have a title app the app bar okay you have to type title now this this title title uh colon put a title as uh, app bar sorry app bar here also you have type app bar here also you have typed the title sorry you have typed this title then only it will become appear okay now title we have to give the text title we have to give the text as we have a property called text property so type here the title as my app my app my app this is the title we have given okay that's it it's a comma uh here that's it okay that's the thing we have to do okay this app bar is starting here closing here okay so here we have to do the thing is you have to align it align it simply uh you have to write like this it's very simple get align it like this okay here this is the subfolding this is the subfolding okay after that i'm going to make the body what would be display on the body so i'm going to display as a hello world body text text hello world simple hello world here to display without any style or anything else simple hello world that's the thing we have to do that's it that's the stuff we have to do so body so here this one we have to put it here body here Suffered here app bar. After the app bar, you have to put the body. Your type not here inside the after the app bar, you have to put the body. Okay, that's it. Now let's check whether it's working fine or not. Uh, we have to we have to we already did this one. So we ask the we again. I'm going to run it. So my terminal has been closed. That's so that's the problem. So let me see. Okay, this, yeah, this I'll close it. The terminal. Okay, that's the problem. Okay, accidentally it will be close it. So I'm going to again run it, flutter run. If you if you accidentally close the terminal, 
you again you have to go here and open the new terminal and you can do the do the do the things okay here it will be running okay so here it will be configuring and it is the first time only take out some time after that it will be reloaded fast okay so let me check the app after that you can get the output look like this okay here if you, after that you can make any changes you can uh, shift r you can press shift r or restart okay instead of follow word you have to get rid of the word shift r sorry not here click select the terminal here click here shift r here perform hot restart now you will be able to see the output it simply it, it show the output here here Hello has been changed it as hello world. So I'm going to change it as a John. Shift plus R. Now you'll be able to see the text which is change it as John. Okay. So how to increase the size of the text, how to give the how to change the color of the text, all the stuff we have to teach in my upcoming videos. Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope this uh, a tutorial will be helpful if you are to learn uh, Flutter. Thank you for watching.